This is Stooge Club. Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. This is an unboxing video. Wouldn't you know it? The man made a local appearance, so I snapped that right up. We are unboxing Becky Lynch Elite from Series 49. So geeks, gamers, sweaties that still live at home in their mum's basements, and WWE fans, strap yourselves in, because here we go. So this is from series 49 of the WWE Elite. It's the Becky Lynch in the steam punky outfit. Sorry for the glare on the box, but it doesn't matter because we're getting rid of the box very shortly. You're just getting a very quick look at it. The thing I don't like about the figure is the facial expression. It's not brilliant, but it's close. She clearly wasn't in a great mood the day that that was face scanned. The thing I like about the figure is you can get rid of the stupid hat and jacket. So let us crack this open uh, 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 here. And we'll get these out. Now kids, if you're going to use scissors, ask your parents' permission first, of course. Uh, uh, come on, pop up. But we are going to throw the box out, so I don't mind that much, but... Okay, first off, the one thing that's very cool is all the elites come with this little display stand. It is very handy dandy. There is a background thing here. If you want to build the background, which I care less about. So that can go away. Here is the figure itself in the packaging. Let's pop her out. Oh, these are deep bubbles. So right, the hat can stay because we don't care about you anyway. I'll take it out just so you guys can have a look at it. So here is the stupid steampunk hat. It's got some good detailing on it, actually. But who needs that? And here is the figure itself. Focus ease. There we go. So not bad. The jacket's actually probably reusable on another female figure if you want to use that. Is that? Oh no. Kind of better to leave the jacket on. Might just leave it a bit open. So they've put a really bad corset on it that looks like a basic figure molded on belt. Does that come off? No. Oh, that's a shame. The rest of the figure is pretty cool though. So let's have a look at the detail in here. We've got Nice different colors all over the the boots and pads and stuff. Uh, her gold shoes. Uh, there's some good articulation there. She's got thigh, leg. Ah, uh, sorry, not thigh. This is above ankle, above boot. Uh, knee, which is really tight, so I'm not going to play with that. Uh, no thigh. Decent leg movement. Ah, hitting my camera. Uh, do we have the waist? There won't be a... Yeah, there's a waist still underneath there. So even underneath the girdle, there's a waist, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like... Yeah, standard arms that can move up, down, round. There's a bicep joint in there. Uh, wrist... Has no movement on that side and on that side. Now that could just be because it's tight. Yeah, okay, it is. It's just tight. Get her hair out over there. Um, and her head. Yeah, it does have some movement. Um, even with 
the jacket and stuff in the way. Now, the jacket is removable if you want to go the effort of taking it off, but and I think it's going to look kind of better just with the jacket. Now, again, the cool thing about these figures is they do come with their own display stands. So, you know, you know they're going to stand up. There's no waiting issues and so forth because they come with a display stand. Now, who doesn't want the man in their collection? Now, obviously, I would like an updated WWE Elite with her, you know, I am the man on the back. That would be awesome. But in the meantime, I will take this, Becky, and add it to my collection. Sans stupid hat. Until next time, I've been your host, The Stooge. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a WWE elite collector? Somehow I have become one over the course of the past year because they keep putting out really, really good looking figures. Like the Mankind was great. The Scott Hall was really good. There's just been a handful of really, really good. The Cactus Jack, again, two Mick Foley figures, but it was really good as well. The AJ Styles, um, there's just been a handful of really good elites. So somehow I've been roped into collecting elites. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said, until next time, don't forget adventure, excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. This is... The man with a dumb hat on.